Free kick and a chance here for Kelly. He scored! Yeah. Incident's going to be extra time winner. Connor Jennings, James Norwood, yes! James Norwood has scored it. De Vries with the cross, the header, it's in. It's Connor Jennings. Good afternoon and welcome back to a trip to the moon where you can see my face. So let's get out the way. Face reveal. This is me, fat man in his converted garage playing football manager. So that's done, dusted, we'll ignore that entirely. I'll sit in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. You can ignore me most of the time. I'm still trying to work out the angles. As you can see, you can see a door in the background. You can see a poster, or well, it's a framed picture, and a few other bits and bobs. I will try and fix the angles and things, and I'm not, not, not sure if this is too big, but you can let me know in the comments anyway. Second thing is, yesterday's video, it, it was a mess. I did try and make it. I was dying with hay fever, and I scrapped it entirely. It looked awful and you obviously can't go back and replay the games for the new episode because you know i'll show you the form <laughs> if i could replay the games i definitely would have so but yeah and then we balls up the transfer window but today so it's special today there's a face reveal and we've got a cup final we made it through to the carabao cup final so today we're at wembley where we're going to be playing arsenal which it seems we play we play arsenal every time we get to wembley which is not good and um, if you look at our screen here, we have been criticised for our form. In fact, so much so, they won't give me a new contract. I've got two years left on my contract. I'm on 25 grand a week. Not to be sniffed at, but they won't give me a new one. So <laughs> this could end with me being sacked. So let's have a look. First of all, I want to show you the transfers because I think I bought this up a little bit. We got rid of Dantas for 44.5 or raises 44.5 million. We brought in Yeri Richter, which you saw last time. He's going to be a great little player. Great mentals. Uh, it says only four star potential, but he's already three. He's only 19. He, he can only improve. I think he'll get better and better in this team. And then we have Hugo Nicolai. Nicolai, Nicolo. I bought him for Chelsea. Okay, he was far too much money. If you see the price the defender's going for in this game, it's unbelievable. They are going for absolutely crazy numbers. Three years, half star, current ability, four star potential. He comes in as the best defender in the, in the team. Uh, he's only 23. Again, I think he will improve. Where where do you get to five star? But again, Jordan only had three star potential. We brought him in, and he's been great. He has improved the team though. Since I signed him, he's come in and he's played two league games in the Premier League, and both of those games he's won. So it's not hard to see what where we need to improve. And looking at what happened since you last week was obviously the Man United defeat. This was the worst January I've ever had. Look at it. It's just it's just such a mess. We beat Stoke after that one 0 it wasn't comfortable. It really wasn't. We really struggled against Stoke. Um, in games we shouldn't struggle. We should be battering them. We then drew nil with Arsenal, which is a good result. I think nil all the way draw with Arsenal is a good result, but they were all over us. Then we drew with Tottenham one all again. It's a draw with Tottenham, but it was in the FA Cup, which meant we had to have a replay. Uh, we then lost to Fulham in the Carabao Cup second leg. Unfortunately, we had a two 0 lead, but again we were we were really poor. This is where I thought we turned. We beat Burnley and we battered them. It was 4 2, but it should have been more. Uh, look at Probe's got a hat trick. He's back on form, which is really good. We then went out, again, we only drew with Spurs, really. We went out on penalties to Spurs, but it was disappointing. We were we were 3 2 up at, in the last minute of extra time and they equalised. If you look where they equalised, 119 minutes. Really disappointed with that one. Then West Brom, we were 4 0 up at half time this game and it only finished 4 3. So it shows where we're weak. And then. That was with Nikolai. That was Nikolai's first game, so I, I forgive him for that. And again, again, he he had a decent game. Then this bizarre friendly again. I don't know who he's organising these friendlies for me in the middle of um, January or it's February actually. I suppose it's a little break, but again, I, it was weird. But we won it anyway. Um, I will take over looking after the friendlies from now on because I don't want to be doing that all the time. Then we got Valencia. We beat them two one away from home. That's a really good result. And then we, we played Watford and I was really comfortable away 2 0 win. So it brings us on to today's game. So what I'm gonna to do today is gonna to show you the Carabao Cup final. Um hopefully we do win it. We haven't as I say we haven't picked up a trophy this season. It's the first trophy this season, so we're already out the FA Cup, so that's gone. So we've got the Carabao Cup, this, um the Champions League come up and the Premier League to focus on. But the Premier League's gonna be a struggle, I think. So I'll skip the Leeds game in the middle. And we'll play the Champions League game home. 
Um, I can't see us going out of the Champions League. We've got two away goals, but you never know. And the running is a little bit kinder to us this time round. Running-wise, we've got Liverpool. And other than the Spurs game up here in April, it's a good running for us. And that's, this is how it leaves the table looking. And this is why I think we've got a bit of a problem. We're not top. We're a point off top with a game in hand, but our form hasn't been great. Um, Martina Drews is still up there, the top goal scorers. Gomez, top, um, one of the average ratings. He's the, Again, he's there with the assists. They, Man United bought Denham. And I'm gutted. I wish I'd have bought Denham now. But, I can't, again, look at the price he bought him for. 81 million. I just don't have that kind of money. I needed to get get defender first, and I don't have denim money. So, get to today's game then, and this is how we're going to line up against Arsenal. This is weird, because I'm now having to record this um, less in fits and starts, because I think it'll look weird in the editing if I'm standing one way or wearing different clothes than another. So, bear with me a little bit, because, you know, it's the first time. But look how we start out here then. Gomez is going to play despite having a knock. He's back tomorrow, and he's our best player, to be honest. Probes, Martinez, Ruiz, Gomez, Sandro, Miles... Thomas, Corrado, and this is where I think I need to move this camera because it's in the way of Corrado. Nicolou, Jordan, um, Schaefer and Renan sitting behind them. So hopefully we can do something in this game. Again, we're playing Arsenal, but it's the Carabao Cup. They may rest a few players. So I had a tiny fiddle around with the camera there before I hit go because I want to see if I get the... At least you see Corrado. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. I'll have to have a fiddle with the settings. Again, I did have a little fiddle around. I made some a video yesterday, but... Uh, you know, I wasn't sure. Um, I'll, it's going to take a while to get used to. It might take a while for you to get used to as well. So let's be passionate here. We're in a cup final. Uh, we've begun to run. Uh, expect nothing but fans. Been f let's do it for the fans. I don't say it often, but we've got two of them. Two of them were pleased with that. We've gone back to the diamond as well. Given these, I, I feel against the bigger teams, we were getting pulled all over the place. So uh, I was going to say, if we get early goal would we'll just be our luck. But probes. Back to Corrado. Ball forward to Sandro. Can Sandro pick somebody out? He can't. It's 1 0. 1 0 in the cup final. <laughs> We've got less than five minutes on the clock. We're 1 0 up. Uh, now, here's the problem. We're playing Arsenal, so now I have to defend a 1 0 lead. And you know me, I cannot defend the lead. So, Sandro with a good ball into the box. And Martin Drews does what he's always done just knocks it in. 23rd goal of the season. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. So let's see. Again, Nicolou to Corrado. Nicolou, Thomas, Sandro, Thomas, Gomez, Miles. They are looking like Brazil here. Look at Probes. Miles. Oh, he does hit a cracker of a shot, Miles. A second goal would have been lovely there. Again, still a long time to hang on to against Arsenal. Anyway, Martinez Ruiz, Thomas. All the way out to Jordan. Never mind. That was an odd highlight. See, you see what I mean about the highlights lasting a lot longer than they should. They don't didn't. I didn't need to see that. Uh, all it's doing is extending the length of time. You have to look at me. Right, ball into the box. Come on, you need to get it away. Just over. Right, come on, boys. If anyone's asking, I'm using bandy cam at the moment. Um, Lujo did show you how to do it on OBS, but for the life of me, I couldn't get it to work. So. This, this is recording footage and game at the same time, so I don't, I don't have any control. Although I have turned the microphone off on the camera. Because I've worked out how to do that. So, n not a great deal happening. Again, we'll, we'll carry on being 1-0 up, but I am happy with that. It's a fairly even game. They've had more possession, but they haven't had a shot on target yet. So, we'll get in there and we'll encourage them. We're not safe for the fans again. Make sure we see things out. There you go. Who's motivated? Say it, Sandro. Again, you can't see half the team because my face is in the way, but let's see if we can. Let's come up attacking. Be more balanced. And it's been a while since I've started wasting time. Probes looks like he he's not having a great game. And then I, Probes has played really well the last few weeks, which is why he's in ahead of Resende, even though Resende's a better player. But Probes scored a hat trick in one, he scored one in every other game. Max Aaron's going down the wing there. He puts it to the box. I knew it was coming. As soon as I go down to balance and time wasting, I knew that was going to come. Right, what do we do now? What do we do now? Aaron's just ghosted back Corrado there. It's a really poor challenge. 
ball goes into the box. And I'm really disappointed here with Schaefer. He should be getting rid of that. Right. Let's make some subs. So Probe's having a, a poor game. Resende, it's, a, it's an easy sub. And Gomez is still injured. So we've got Luis Eduardo there that can play there. Again, another youngster coming through. He can play as an attacking midfielder. Which means I can put Miles on a deep line playmaker instruction. And hopefully that does the trick. You know what's going to happen though. Don't you? It'll go to penalties and I'll lose. Which is what always happens in these finals. It seems to kick Smith throughout out of the game there. There's a lot of just sitting there looking at my looking at me because I don't say an awful lot sometimes. Right, Saka down the wing. Come on, we need to foot in. Miles has good lad. Right, Thomas has got the ball. Can he look up? It doesn't matter. He drives on. He gives it to Luis Eduardo. He just carries on. I thought he was going to have a shot then, but he didn't. Martinez Ruiz. Ah. So that's it. And, oh, he hit the post. <sighs> a few of them should have pulled the trigger there. I mean, Martinez Ruiz and... I can't remember who's come on the wing there, but they should have. Right. Let's encourage them. Don't let this slip. Like Stevie G. That's what he'd say. I right, sorry, Liverpool fans. I don't know how many Liverpool fans watch this, but sorry. Anyway, Jordan. Big long throw into the box. It's bobbling all around the place. How did that not go in? It was all over the place there. And Martinez Ruiz nearly scores. Come on, boys. We've got some knackered players now. Right. Makes me, let's make some subs. Sandro's going to have to come off. Richter could come on. Uh, I'll just swap Miles from box to box. Mazzala, maybe Bart, Mazzala. Had to be Mazzala there. Richter can only play as deep line. Or advanced. So that's him done. And I'm going to bring off Corrado, who's knackered. He's always knackered. I don't know what's up with his stamina. I can't make a fourth. Why is that? That's not the FA Cup. You can make a fourth change in the FA Cup. They're really struggling. Max Aaron's Kieran Tierney is absolutely knackered. Right, Miles, Richter, Miles, Richter again. Thomas, just don't get away high up. It's a good play. He's in. Can send it? Oh, he should be finishing that. That was the chance to win it. Corrado's taking one for the team before he comes off. Well, he's not coming off the pitch now, is he? Right. Into the dreaded penalties, then. Uh, if you look at our penalty options, they are slim, so we'll also pick these. We, we haven't done great for penalties recently. And we knocked out the Spurs. And Martinez Ruiz. Good lad. Good lad. Good finish. Harry Wilson. Come on, Renan. Again, another good penalty. I'm not as nervous, and this isn't a big deal because it's only the Carabao Cup, but it's nice to win a trophy. Resende, come on, boy. You're on the pitch just for this. Good finish. Bottom corner. Keep it the wrong way. Hey, Eddie. He seems to be a thorn on our side permanently throughout the save. Oh, he scored. Well, he's never going to miss that, is he? Let's be honest. Miles, come on. It doesn't get much closer than that. In off the inside of the post. Donny van der Beek. He was offered to me. But I didn't fancy him. He's missed. Come on. <laughs> right. Jordan. My centre-back's taking def um, penalties. <laughs> What's going on? Right, Jordan, come on. Oh, thank God for that. Right, Saka. He has to score. If he misses, we win. And we've got a chance to win anyway, the next one. Saka, and he puts it in. So whose shoulders has this fallen on? Watch it fall on somebody daft. I mean, I'd never give it to Renan, to be honest. Oh, it's Nicola. It's another centre-back. And it's our new centre-back. <laughs> what a way to endear yourself to the fans by missing a penalty in the, the cup final. Come on. Just put it away. And he has. Yes. Trying to win the League Cup for the second time. Uh, we banished the ghosts of Arsenal. 
I'm pleased with that. I know it's not worth much and you don't get any money for it, but again, it's more building the reputation of the club and stuff like that. On penalties again, though. We love a penalty in this competition. Let's be passionate, though. Uh, enjoy your success, lads. Go out there. Love it. Not too much, though, because we're playing Leeds in a minute. Okay, so we've already we qualified for the Euro Cup 2, which we've actually, we've actually never played in. Uh, and I don't think we're playing it this year, either. Overachievers. We, we're not even overachievers. Shrewsbury are the overachievers. City got put out early on. Best match was a, a nil-nil draw. Top assist, Dantas. Okay, Dantas did play for most of this. He'd be gutted to me yourself. I'll, I'll win the medal. So, anyway, I'm going to click on. I'm going to play the Leeds game offline, and we'll get to the Valencia game to see if we can get through to the next round of the Champions League. As the holders, I'd like to be at least making the semi-final. So, uh, this will be get us getting into the quarters. So, I'll see you all in a second. Welcome back for the Valencia game, then. I am really worried about this. I know we have two goal or two away goals, but it only takes them to score three. <laughs> And we aren't in great form. We just drew nil nil with Leeds. Leeds were all over us as well. They deserve to win. We were lucky. Um, so if you look at the Premier League now, we are only we're six points behind United with a game in hand. Okay, and we've lost only only team that lost less than us is Man United. But we don't get to play United again, so it'd be very difficult to make up that gap. I think, given that the team that they have. So take a look how we're going to line up against Valencia. I'm going to start with Resende up top. Probes had an awful game, so. We'll go to Resende. Martinez Ruiz, Gomez, Sandro Miles, Thomas Corrado, Jordan, Chiati, and Acosta. Acosta comes in for Schaefer, who is now suspended. Who got he got sent off in the last game, and Marcus Renan. So we'll get into the game and we'll have a again, we we know a couple of Valencia players, we played them last season as well. But they've still got a Wobi there. Nietzsche's still there, Gomez is still up front for them. They've got the boy called Kipra there and Gaia. A couple of players I do know. Again, we, we should be going through here, so let's be passionate. Teams such as ours should be winning. Not many people like that. Right. Into the game then. We've got an early corner, which is good. A minute on the clock, and we're 1-0 up. Nerves settled a little bit, although it doesn't change the fact that they scored three goals, they're still through. But there we go. We're 3-1 up on, on the aggregates. 1-0 up on the night. It's a standard trammy goal, isn't it? Let's be honest. I, I've been scoring these goals all the way through. If we can keep it nice and quiet, maybe come off attacking. Give us a balanced. Um, and we'll shoot on sight as well. A little bit of time wasting. Just kill, try and kill the game off a little bit. We don't need to do anything drastic now. We've got the lead. I'm aware I keep looking down as well, but the keyboard's down there. Uh, and I might fiddle with the camera angles later. Um, oh no, get it out! Now that was a scram on a half. Porto are currently going out to Feyenoord by the looks of it. What is that? What was that? Was bizarre. Right, Gaia, into bot guy. We get it away. Gomez picks it up. Can he pick a man out? We know he can just. No, he can't. I mean, that is close. I mean, that's as close as you get to being a goal. Gomez is having a decent game. He's got us assist from the corner. Right. Not a great deal happening. Come on, boys. Right, that'll do. That'll do. Let's go to clear minds. Yeah, I won't say anything to them. That's probably a good idea. I'll only annoy them anyway. Again, Resende's having a poor game. So he's going to come back off. I can't get anyone to work with Martinez Ruiz at the moment. At the beginning of the season, they were all on fire. Which is why they were all three of them were playing, but I flicked on and there we are. Two nil. Miles, is he on side though? They've walked away. It, it must be it's standing. Two nil up. Again, equation doesn't really change. Valencia scored three goals. We're going out. So <laughs> still a little bit jittery. But it's a, it's a spectacular finish. It's a good flick on from Sandro, and again it's come from a throw in. So what do I do here? If we don't concede, I think we're gonna be fine. Just don't concede a goal. Well, of course, we don't concede we are fine. But Resende's in. Can he finish it? He can. Thank you, Resende. There we go. Ties put to bed. Valencia needs to score four goals now. And not even I can contrive to concede four goals with 30 minutes to go. 
He's in. He's nervous, but it's a good finish on his right foot. Right, I'm trying to make some subs. Who's knackered? Like, Corrado can come off because he's perpetually knackered. And Sandro is also tired, so we can bring on Richter for him. He's played, he's played a few games, Richter, since he's come in. He's a good little player. I mean, he's coming to this team and be three-star already. Get my, get my hiccups again. Harder to edit that when you can see the face. And Thomas, Richter, ball to Gomez. Never mind. Thomas picks it back up, though. Can he get the ball into the box? He can, and it's 3-0. 4-0. <laughs> I can't count anymore. But there we go, 4-0. This game is beyond any shadow of doubt. What was I worried about? Why couldn't we do this to Leeds? It's a far better team than Leeds are. Ball into the box. Martinez Ruse is there. It's his 24th goal of the season. We're in February. He's on for a stellar season. They're going to show us the offside. They are. He's miles onside. Number 14. You know, you can park a bus between that gap. Thomas is injured now. That's not good. I don't have anybody else. Nikolai. Nikolai's got to play at left back. Um, no, Jordan can play there. There we go. We'll do that. I'm going to keep calling him Nikolai, even though his name's Nikolou. And it's down that left hand side they come. It was almost inevitable, isn't it? Nietzsche's having a good game for them. He... He's not great. He's 31 now. I wouldn't be signing him anyway. Far too old for me. So there we go. 4 0 win. Really straightforward victory. I don't know what I was worried about. We'll get in and we'll praise them. Well done, lads. Good win for us. And then we'll see when we're going to come back next. We get a load, bucket load of money for winning that as well. 8.1 million. Zay Ricardo. He's, who he's looking after now? Uh, Zay Ricardo is the manager of Brazil. So let's have a look for who next come back. I will probably wait for. Where are we? Where are we? It's going to be a bit soon, but we're going to be coming back for the Champions League. Depending on who we get. We might come back for the Champions League game there. Or we might just come back for the second game and play Derby. We'll see how it goes. If it's somebody relatively straightforward and easy, I'll come back for the Champions League second leg. But if it's somebody difficult, if I get Barcelona or you know Real Madrid, obviously I'm going to show you that game. So we'll, we'll see where we are. Listen, if you had enjoyed seeing my face, <laughs> do like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. Okay.